Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and welcome back to PCM20 Champions, episode 29. So we continue on with our journey here, and Spider-Man is leading the way currently as we set up a sprint train. We're at the UAE Tour. It's just stage number one, and we're going to see a little bit of everything uh, this season. But in particular, it's going to be nothing but World Tour races. I really couldn't care less about sponsor objectives we'll comfortably get through that and so we're going to focus on big races and that's nice to be able to uh commit fully to that and with that we'll see what the riders are capable of and then of course we're so well rounded with the way we are developing that we've got a little of everything and that's gonna make a big difference so here we're gonna ride for gamora for the sprints wolverine in support Hulk is going to be focused on the GC, and now with just six kilometers to go, let's go ahead and get everybody their gel, and let's also go full speed. The finish line is getting close. The riders just Already out the front. Now, of course, line. we're in the World Tour now, so we are going to be going up against the best. So our rate of wins that we had last season uh, is probably not going to be matched. Okay, 2.6K... Um, we'll go a little further and then we'll sprint it out. Okay, there we go. The Inside two sprint. kilometers. It's slightly technical through here and Gamora's going to get a good run in. Even Hulk is going to push towards this line. We're in a good position. Uh, Geraud. Geraud is a 77-76. We might be able to beat that. Ewan's going to be tough from over here. I don't think we're going to beat Ewan. Looks like second place. It is. Caleb Ewan takes the win, but Gamora, uh, who's a 77-78 at this point base, not quite there yet. Hulk grabs third. Oh, that's fantastic. Already a four-second bonus for our GC contender. I'm happy with that. We move forward to stage number two. There is some great cycling content that I'm really excited to be bringing to you right now. And I really hope that you would take a fraction of a second to scroll down and click that like button for what I'm about to bring to you. One, the same time that this video just posted, my best content with Zwift has really just gone live. Now, if you checked out Zwift, if you saw the first episode, and you gave me that support and gave me that like, this is your time to come back and check it out a second time. Not for the Zwift part itself, not for the journey. If, if it's not necessarily your thing, that's fine. But I'm doing a special series, and episode one of it just came out today. It's going to be a six-part series, so the next six episodes of the next uh, just over two weeks. And what I'm doing is I'm taking Cycling's greats the greats of now the greats of the past the great races and the great moments and putting them in a tournament a la march madness the college basketball tournament in the u.s that's go ongoing right now head to head to determine the best now, most people say, oh, that's easy. That it's Eddie Merckx. Well, it's not speed. just the greatest riders of all time that are being compared. It's the greatest riders right now. It's the great moments. It's those great events. So when we put all of that together, there's a lot going on. And there is no guarantee that it's Eddie Merckx. So tune in. Be sure to check that out. That is episode number one going on right now. So as soon as you finish this video, hop on over and, and check that one out. If I remember, I'll drop a link in the description as well so you can see that one. That's only one thing, though. Let's go ahead and finish up this stage number two, and I'll tell you about the second one. Because there's definitely going to be quite a few of you that are excited by this one as well. Nineteen. K to go to the finish we can make this really tough on the field and have very few riders left at the end there's still a breakaway of two riders but they're just about ready to be caught we've hit the low point 
we're going to start going uphill here. And other than a short downhill section, it's all the gentle uphill a with a steep uphill well, finish. The the We've got to save a little bit now. for that last little piece, that last little uphill. But otherwise, line. we're, we're going to make life difficult for those behind us. Let's see what we can do. 13 and a half K to go. I'm going to get Spider-Man ready. Spider-Man feeling it a little bit. Thor's felt it slightly, but I think that's probably because somebody squeezed between them and Wolverine there for a moment. Ant-Man continues on, pushing out of 90. It's good pace. It's a good tempo. We're nearly over the top of the first one, which means we can actually even start pushing even harder because at this point we haven't even dropped anyone. Ant-Man, do your best to try to hang on to the back end. We're seeing that acceleration of those behind us. There's a little saddle before we then drop the riders are entering the last 10 down into the uh, that last piece, that last climb, and Spider-Man pushes us through. We've now dropped just two riders, but as we go through this downhill, it's 99 all the way to the finish, 8K to go. We're going to get gels going. Spider-Man, I want you to sprint. Iron Man, 99, here we go. Gamora and Hulk finish it off. 99 all the way. So far we've only split five riders, but I, I know, I know that this is getting tough for those behind us. We have got to be set up in a way that we might just have a chance at this. Iron Man's done. Again, we'll try to get on to the back end. Ant-Man is still hanging on. Yes, he is. Okay. Down to 2.4k, and we're seeing that big push, final push of some. Thor is done at the same time that Wolverine is done. So we're already on to Gamora much sooner than I was hoping. Which means we're going to have to kind of let the yellow bar do its thing. And then Gamora is going to have to give that final push. There we go. Hulk on her wheel. I'm not sure how well we're going to do with this last little piece. 500 meters for Gamora. Can she overcome? Uh, her red bar is gone. Her red bar is gone. Here comes Mark Hershey and Gamora for the win. Yes, she got it. She held on. Everybody used up that red bar. So Gamora with the win. Hagita, Hershey, Lutsenko. Uh, Shockman took six. Demulon was 9th, Moscon Hulk was 11th, Vanderpool was 12th, Gegenhart, Pedersen up there as well, Lucas Hamilton 18th. Hopefully Hulk did not lose a little bit of time, but looking at that group, uh, that top 8 finishers, it's all punchers. So GC wise, once we hit a bigger climb, they're all going to lose some time with... The possible exception of Gamora, who's not as good of a climber as Hulk and will ride ultimately for Hulk. But uh, we'll try and see if Gamora can hang on because Gamora's going to have the race lead now. 11 second gap given between Narvaez and Demulon. Next gap given, minute 5 to DeVos and below. As we head towards a punchy finish, though it's a fairly lengthy climb, it's going to most likely come down to the climbers and not necessarily a puncher. A recap on the other new thing that's coming that many of you will be excited about. From the very beginning of this series, and very recently, just in the last episode, it's been requested many times that I post this somewhere, uh, whether it's on the Steam Workshop or otherwise, somewhere, so that you too can get in and try out the experiment. Now, the only reason why I didn't do that in the first place was that the world database that, that puts the current 21, uh, 2021 rosters and teams in place, the end of the the that database no is chance. not my own. Now, this team, the Decathlon Gamer Racing, the sponsor, the team, the jerseys, the... Uh, the writers on the team, all of that, I did. That's custom. But the database itself was not. Well, anyway, I approached the database creator 
and they got back to me. Uh, I just checked on it, just found out right before recording this, and they have given permission. So I haven't had any time to do anything about it yet, and I'm not exactly sure when I will have some time, maybe this weekend. I will work on, on that and getting it set up, a, a version of it that can be uploaded onto Steam, which is not something I've done yet, so that might take me a little bit, uh, but we'll, we'll see. I, I should, hopefully, have another announcement on that coming in the next uh, couple of episodes from now. The entire peloton together as we prepare for that final climb 16 kilometers to go and we're going to pull ourselves out front this is also going to give us a chance at the sprint yeah. well we got second and third across the line anyway not that it mattered at all 12k to go and we're hitting the base of the climb we are going to sprint train style this one and we're going to push pretty hard we'll see uh, if we can maintain a 90 and so far at least we most definitely can uh, we need to gel up these guys. Okay, Spider-Man's faster, stronger uh, than Wolverine was in the uh, punch category, so we don't want to overdo this. There, you can see even Hulk felt is feeling that at the moment, the turn of pace. But yes, we're maintaining taining an 89 pretty well at the moment. Gel hasn't even kicked in yet for Spider-Man or Ant-Man. Gamora on a minus three today. That no sucks. She might be losing her jersey. But ultimately 10%. we ride for uh, for Hulk. Now 7k. Now 6k. We're going to start pushing a little harder. The pace seems much too high for many riders. Okay, 99 for a moment for Spider-Man. As he's out of red bar, but still has that little bit left. Okay, now you can see Andrade is trying to come up on him. Okay, on to Ant-Man. Hundred and forty five left in the Peloton. Let's ease off there for a little bit. That's gonna give us a small chance to get something going here. Okay, red bar gone for Ant Man, but he's still got some left in the tank. Now Andrade again trying to push past as well as Lutsenko. Looking way. at three point eight K and oof, we are feeling it. I'm not gonna respond just yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Now we respond. By These guys are going so hard, so fast. They're bound to uh, peter out. 3k. Uh, Kimura is going to have to switch places with Hulk. Okay, we are seeing Mark Hershey. Really? Hershey has the power to go? All right, well, 2.9K. We'll go 87 for Iron Man, and let's gel up for these last two. Gamora has been dropped. Hulk carries on. Iron Man somehow is doing better. 2K to go. Andrade is gone clear. Lutsenko and Sosa are struggling. Hershey's struggling. Uman is struggling. Hulk is falling away and now so is Iron Man. Not sure why Hulk is struggling so bad here. Resistance isn't that bad. Stamina's good. They were on a zero. I get that Iron Man had some Did bonuses to today. To get this win. Andrade keeps the win. Definitely not going to be a win, and actually we slipped quite a bit. We were in a good position moments ago, and then we come out just short on the energy, and we see a significant drop in position 
in a very short period of time. Yikes. Uh, we were right there with Lutz with Hershey, Lutsenko, Sosa, and Uman. That was the group we were with. Narvaez, Carapaz, Landa come up from behind, and we drop all the way to 13th, 14th. And Gamora dropped to 40th. Ouch. Ooh. Okay. We're not quite strong enough for that yet. Continental Pro, plenty strong enough for that kind of move. Not at World Tour level. We still have some growing pains to uh, endure before we can dominate this level. Knowing that we're not quite there in the sprints at this point, I'm going to go ahead and bypass the sprint stages. So to wrap up this UAE tour, we're now on the final punchy stage. This is stage five overall. This is also what's going to do it for this episode. And even though we did not succeed last time, I think it's well worth it to try, try again. Uh, we'll back off a little bit more. We'll try to conserve a little more energy. Hulk's on a plus one today. Gamora has a zero today. So the two key riders are in better shape than they were last time. Their net last time was minus three. Today it's a plus one. So they've got a better shot at, well, succeeding. So we'll get into Ant-Man. We're going to push in 88 for a little bit. This is more about keeping us near the front, but also keeping us fresh for a little longer for the climb. So Iron Man, we're going to try to get him onto the back end of this uh, train as we uh, go up the climb. Seven and a half K to go now and just pushing a little less, pushing that 88. You can see we're getting a little deeper. We're going a little further and we're still at the front anyway and somehow already dropping riders off the back. This climb features some dreadful percentages. And it's definitely doing some damage still. It's not like we're going significantly slower. We can see how much deeper we're going. We're down to 6K, and Ant-Man is still doing the work. Iron Man let us out to that point, but Ant-Man's getting us there now. Hulk lost the Wheel of Gamora there a little bit and had to chase to get back on. That hurts slightly, but down to 5K now. And we're still on that front rider, so that's a big kilometers. difference than last time. Uh, we're going to have to start pushing forward uh, a bit harder now that we're getting closer. Four and a half K to go. Ant-Man's done. Ant-Man did great work there. I mean, just knocked out more than half the climb by themselves. Uh, we are starting to really do some damage. Wolverine, holy cow. Your hills are 75. Your mountain... I'm surprised at the level of damage that Wolverine just did. And here they come, like last time. Really pushing. It's Sosa again. It's Narvaez. Spider-Man running out of energy. And Thor, sadly, is just right there. They're going to get a little acceleration to bypass. And then we're down to our top two. Earlier than you would want. So Gamora. Don't get caught behind Thor. And make sure we actually make it to the end here. Sosa's gone clear. Dina, Lutsenko, Narvaez coming through. One, one K to go. Hulk's not going to make it. Hulk's going to drop away. And so is Gamora. Gamora's out of energy. And they're off. It's going to be very so bad. close. So close. But not quite there. Victory Better than last time. Lutsenko the takes the win. Sosa, Dina, Simmons, Dumoulin, Moss. Gamora Grass 7th, so big improvement. Hulk again at 11th. Hulk was sitting 6th overall. We'll see where we're at in the standings now. It's just a punchy stage, so it's easier to get the groups uh, labeled together as a unit, which was why Hulk only lost a little bit of time on that last stage and still sits 6th. They were the last rider of the group last time and that group stretched all the way to just all but a couple of the riders that they were riding side by side with and you can see here here we have it again 22 seconds down and all the way to Bernal at 28th position so there you go keeping a sixth place is Hulk at 59 seconds so that little four second time bonus they have gave them the edge from 10th all the way up to sixth but 
they are a little bit behind the eight ball on, on the top five. So they just miss a top five placement. But not bad for our first GC opportunity in the World Tour. And like I said before, we still have some work to do, but they're getting there. That is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to check out that link in the description below to my Zwift episode where we begin the Cycling's March Madness Tournament today. Also, look for the upcoming uh, premiere of this database on Steam available for you to try yourself. Be sure to hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. And bye for now.